this is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. And all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? From Anonymous, we understand and sympathize with your concerns about the environment and agree that the blame lies with many of the world's most powerful corporations. However, you may want to be careful that you are not led astray by people who are a part of the problem, and it appears that this may be happening. Many of the powerful politicians that you met with and took photographs with are deeply involved with many of the industries you speak out against. Today we're going to talk about the progression of the coronavirus, and I want to show you this visualization from the flightradar.com website that shows you a fraction of the flights which were internationally bound from China from the time of January 1st till the time of January 30th when most countries finally decided to stop receiving flights from China. This is a rapid time lapse which should give you some sense on how fast a pandemic could actually spread. We're here to talk about the end of the world. We stand on the brink of Armageddon, diseases for which we have no cure. Fundamentalist states who call for our destruction, nuclear powers over which we have no control. And even if we navigate these dangerous waters, we face other, even more inevitable threats. Global warming, 
will melt the polarized gaps within 80 years, flooding 90% of all habitable areas on Earth. Unchecked population growth will overtake food production in less than 50 years, leading to famine and war. This is not conjecture. This is a fact. One way or another, our world is coming to an end. Now the question is, will we end with it? What do you propose? I propose that we end the world, but on our terms. An orchestrated apocalypse. One that will cleanse the earth of its population, but leave its infrastructure and resources intact. It's been done once before, with great success. The chosen few will ride out the storm, not in an ark as in the book of Genesis, but in safety, underground. And when it's over, we will emerge onto a cleansed earth. We can then reboot once in our image. And just how do you intend to achieve this? The means of our salvation are already at hand. I give to you the T-Virus. There was no system core. It could not be shut down. The attack began at 6.18 p.m., just as he said it would. Judgment Day. The day the human race was nearly destroyed by the weapons they'd built to protect themselves. I should have realized our destiny was never to stop Judgment Day. It was merely to survive it. Together. The Terminator knew. He tried to tell us. But I didn't want to hear it. Maybe the future has been written. I don't know. All I know is what the Terminator taught me. Never stop fighting. And I never will. The battle has just begun.